five things I'd never do after teaching personal safety for more than 20 years. Never think of someone who's attacking you as a person. They are an it. They gave up the right to be considered a person the minute they committed the crime. This is particularly important for our daughters and for women in general because they're more likely to know their attacker. And psychologically, it's easier to inflict the damage necessary to get it to stop doing whatever it is you don't like if you're not thinking of them as a person. Never go to a party, concert or bar without cling wrap. Now, this is another one I've taught my daughter. You take the cling wrap so at the moment your hand is your drink, you can slap that cling wrap over the top and pop a straw through it. The cover makes it much more difficult for some douchebag to drop drugs into your drink. Don't rely on the locks on a hotel room door. Get yourself one of those traveling wedges that can go in there and secure the door or failing that. Wedge the ironing board up under the handle at night so that no one can gain entry. And yes, it could be a bit of a nuisance if there was a fire in the hotel trying to get it out from underneath the door. But security is a trade-off and that's one that I'm willing to make in order to sleep soundly. Don't go anywhere without a flashlight. If something bad's going to happen, nearly guaranteed it's going to happen in low light or dark. In addition, make sure that flashlight has a green filter, which is much better for your night vision than even a traditional red lens. If for some reason things go sideways and you've got to rip the filter off, they're usually pretty easy to detach. You can go to white light and or utilizing the bevels to start gouging out somebody's eyeballs if necessary. Don't use pepper spray, instead use pepper gel, which is much less likely to blow back on you if you have to use it outdoors. In addition, many of them come with a dye that will stain the assailant after you've sprayed them, which makes it a little bit easier in the ID process if the cops are able to track them down. 